This podcast is being recorded and produced on Gadigal land. We pay our respects to the traditional custodians of this country and elders past, present. We extend our respect to any First Nations, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people joining us today. Always was, always will be Aboriginal land. Oh. No! Oh! Don't There's the meat lovers cheesy crust. For lunch. What the heck? Look Yum. at this. Desserts. Oh my gosh, you got a three course meal. Wow. That dessert platter. Where's the creme There's fresh? A, are you standing? How are you? Yum. Where's the big fat? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Everyone get out. It's all man. <laughs> Everyone get out. Look wow. at these, Pat. Show me that. Wow. What is this? Wow. Wow. Is that oh the creme God. fresh? Yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. need a moment alone with it? Um, I just really want to just dip into this volcano, oh. cheese volcano with a chippy. Yum. I need this so badly right now. Yeah, I'm getting into this. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. And you know what? I just want to drink that. And I just want I just want to eat this all by itself. Like, that is... No, cheese volcano is the best mm. thing yeah. in the world. We just had a pizza party. I went a bit overboard. Domino's has hooked us up. Has hooked us up uh, after I went on and on about my Domino's order. And I said, here's, here's, here's something, I need to clear up the rumours. Because I said I hadn't tried the double decadence, which is like where they put a layer of cheese in between the... I'm in a food coma! You're in a food coma, no. We just ate so much Domino's because, as I was saying, the rumours, clearing up the rumours, double decadence, that's where they have the layer of cheese in between. Yeah, I've never had that before until now. It was right. really good. Never had it. And as I said on the pod, because I just do my tried and true cheesy crust. Now, nah, double decadence is by far ten times better than cheesy crust and I can't believe I've waited this long to have it. Mm. And Domino's was like, well, we're going to let you try it. So they sent us... My order, which is, of course, the creme fraiche base. Creme fraiche. With cheese, fraiche. extra cheese. And now today, usually I get cheesy crust. Today, I got double decadence. Wow, double decadence. Shout out to her because she is, she is. Yeah, the double decadence is good because I, I feel more. like I love the cheesy crust as well. But then I feel like you get really full with cheesy crust because the, like, the crust is so fat and full of cheese. Whereas double decadence, normal crust, but there's a Just layer, took the edge off. Yeah, there's a layer of cheese in the middle of the pizza. They also sent us. Sorry, I'm st- I'm like I'm like wow, yeah, what we a just journey! Like had our eyes bigger than our stomach, sort of um, scenario, where it <laughs> the pizza came in. We've eaten like with six pieces. With la- a a cheese lava. What was the correct terminology? Oh, for volcano. That? Volcano. Cheese volcano. It's like a little mini cheesy crust pizza, but with just like melted. Like cheese sauce, like nacho like, um, cheese sauce in the middle. Sh- we should do a disclaimer. This isn't sponsored by Domino's. I know. Because I feel like right now we're doing a subtle ad, like yeah. trying to make it seem no. like it's not an ad. This is not an ad. Just saying. But they but did give us free pizza. Yeah. So Gifted. Gifted. Hashtag gifted. Hashtag no obligation to post. But yeah. hashtag we are anyway because it was bloody. The, I always see the volcano, the cheese volcano. I always see it on the menu when I get Domino's and I go, mm, it does look good, but no. No. This is your recommendation. It is all right. Hey, approved. And I am like, next time you see that, if you've ever been like me and you've thought, yeah, I want to get that, but no, I don't know. What if it's not good? Babes, it's good. And we had the chips to put in as well. Then we were dipping the pizza in it and then we were all done and we were like, oh, wow, we're so full because we've just eaten so much. And then we remembered they also sent us a packet of dessert. Oh, the lava cake brownie. So we had to shove in some lava. Actually, I've still got the dessert box sitting here next to me. We had lava brownie, I think it's called. Then we had normal brownie. Chocolate lava cake. Chocolate lava cake. Then we've got some churros here and some mini, I think these are mini Dutch pancakes. I'm going to try it right now. So yum. Bit of ASMR for your ears. Oh, it's not a good one to do it with. A mm. Dutch pancake is too soft. Mm. Do a churro ASMR. Okay. okay, I'll do it. Churro ASMR. Yeah, see, that's what we're chasing, baby. Ew! To me, the chock lava cake's the best one. Yeah, for sure. Mm. For sure. I'll tell you what else is good for Domino's, which I've had a few times. What? The thick shakes. Oh, yeah, I did love the red velvet one they had at one, po- one point. They're but I'm... really fucking good. Yeah. Just throwing that out there. Nice. Well, anyway, um, we've had a pizza party mm-hmm. um, and that was fabulous. Takes me back to the days of having pizza parties in primary school. I remember on like the last day of school and everyone yeah. everyone would get one slice each. You're not allowed more than one slice of pizza. 
This is back in the day. No one had any allergies, so you could have whatever you want. Yeah, but now... what is with that? Like, why did no one have allergies when we went to primary school? Oh, I don't think we have time to get into <laughs> to get into the conversation around that. But anyway, um, teachers, what are you doing these days? You'll have to tell us in our broadcast channel. Because I can't imagine you having... Um, Pizza parties, because it'd all be too hard. Because back in the day, the teacher would just get a Hawaiian, a meat lovers, a Supreme, mm. a ham and pa- a ham and cheese, uh, a cheese, and call it a day, and the class would be sorted. Whereas now, well, you're going to have to get this one on a gluten free. This ca- kid can't even have past pizza, so he's got to have something else on the menu. Do you know what's funny, Matt? We're doing our fate event at the end of this month. And so that's like a um, canapé event. Uh And so we sold the tickets and then like when everyone gets their tickets, they fill out their dietaries. It surprised me how many people have put like no seafood, blah, blah, blah. And then so we have like followed up with each person because we obviously need to give the venue everyone's dietaries. So we've double checked with everyone like is this a severe, you know, um, allergy. The amount of people that have just put like no seafood because they don't fucking like it. Me, I do that every time. Fuck what? you if I'm going to get a salmon or a fucking... Don't give... What? Because guess what? I go to an event and they all go, ceviche, ceviche. They bring out the fucking raw fish Yum. sitting on a plate. Yuck. See, but if I go to an event, I'm just given what I'm given. No. And I'm, no. You're that person that writes on the dietary requirements. Yes, no, no seafood. No seafood. Yeah, but I... I just I, because you don't like it. Yes. Jeez. Sorry, I'm I'm prepared to argue about this one. That is a dietary requirement. I require no seafood because I hate it. That's my requirement. It's like AJ with tomatoes. He just hates them. But he's not writing that on the dietary requirements, No, right? he's too embarrassed. But like, for example, when we went to the Acras, I said to the girl, no seafood, which meant I didn't have a salmon put in front of me. If I had a salmon put in front of me, I wouldn't have eaten it. What do I do? Starve? No. Look at me. I'm eating, darling. So I need to make sure that I can (laughs) eat. And I used to go to the events and not put any dietary requirements. And then suddenly we've gone into this um, era of seafood. Like yeah. everyone seems to have, I we're doing s- oysters, ceviche, yeah, I will king say, prawns, the events, blah, blah, blah. Like I don't get why they choose seafood as like a basic thing. Like when we go to an event, it should be just like chicken and beef, chicken, beef. But the fact that they throw in seafood is weird. Well, because it's a bit cheaper. You reckon? Yeah, seafood's a bit cheaper, depending on what. You, obviously, you can get expensive seafood. But yeah, like a salmon is probably cheaper than the chicken. I know, when but you so, go to like event. when so many people hate seafood, like it's just an interesting choice. I agree. Yeah. So for my 30th, we're doing alternating mains. Yeah. And I've chosen a chicken and well, it might not be a beef, it might be more of a lamb. Um, Yum. But is lamb a dividing meat? No, nah, I don't okay. reckon. Um, cause there's definitely chicken. And then obviously I've got the people with dietary requirements. They get their own things, but, but I was like, no seafood altogether because I hate seafood. I'm not serving salmon. I'm not trying to enjoy my meal at my 30th birthday party and having you sitting across the table from me <laughs> eating your fucking See, fish. I, lo- I love seafood, Ugh. but I will say as well, like at an event, like seafood stinks. You're stinking out the event. You're stinking out the joint, You know mate. when you go on a plane and it's like they've got the food and salmon is one of them? Like, why? I told you, the prawn rolls on the way home from Bali when I was shit myself. Like, <gasps> I mean, why do it? The whole plane just smelt and I was extra sensitive. But no, you're right. I hate it. You bring out, and the thing is as well, it's quite a distinct smell with seafood. You see, you bring out like a, like a, a, a crispy chicken, delicious smell that fills the room, but mm. like everyone's comfortable. The fish smell comes out. It's in the curtains for six weeks. <laughs> like, I just, oh, I can't do it. Anyway, I hate seafood and that's that on that. Mm. But, yeah, you couldn't have a pizza party these days because you'd have to have a vegan one. You'd have to have a gluten-free one. Mm. This kid's allergic to pineapple. You can't have a satay one. This one's allergic to nuts, peanut butter. Do you reckon just it's, I know we don't have time to get into it, but do you reckon it's like the shit that's getting put into food that has brought out the allergies more? Probably. It could be anything and everything and anything. Yeah. I don't know. And I think it's too big of a conversation to ha- for us to have on a podcast that doesn't have that much substance anyway at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel Excuse this me, isn't this, the right this place. This podcast is the highlight of some people's life. We need to go on another podcast <laughs> where they talk about that sort of stuff and that's mm. where we'll talk about it. But yeah. I think here, the, these poor people listening on their drive to work <laughs> or going for a walk with the dogs or at the gym or maybe just 
decompressing in bed. I don't know where you listen to this and I don't care, but I love you for it. But what I'm saying is they don't care how kids get allergies. And what the fuck do we know? It's probably because no one eats seafood these days. That'd be it. You don't eat the seafood and suddenly you've got a shellfish allergy. See, I just eat anything. Yeah, you're not allergic to anything at all? No. I'm allergic to bee stings and coriander. Oh. Yeah, coriander, I break out in a rash, get real red in the chest, throat starts closing up and um, <clears throat> get a bit sweaty, get a bit faint. Well, we've got a girl at... But everyone um, just thinks, because you know how, like, sorry to cut you off, but you know how everyone just hate, you either love or hate coriander. Mm. So people think that I just made up that allergy because I hate coriander, which I do as well, like hate the taste. I'm the one that gets the soap. Do you get soap or not? Yeah, I get soapy flavour, but I will say I've had it recently and it's like not too bad. I think it depends how much is in there. Like if there's Mm. too much coriander, the whole meal gets taken over. But I've had a a bar me recently and it had that on it. It wasn't too bad. I was like, oh, this is tolerable. Okay. Yeah. Which, by the way, I had a barn me the other day for the first time in, I want to say the last time I had a barn me was maybe 2009. <laughs> Specifically? Yeah. No, I remember because I was doing um like an internship work placement sort of thing and I went and got a barn me and I hated it and had my first ever allergic reaction to coriander. So I've never had mm, I love the me crispiness again. of the, the bun. That's the I didn't best know. Bit, the crispiness. Yeah. There's a girl... um who is in our fate warehouse and she is deathly, deathly allergic to goat's cheese or any goat product. Oh. Like she's got like 10 EpiPens in her work bag wow. and we all know and we're like a strictly no goat's cheese or goat's like, you know, there's like goat moisturizer, goat soap. Oh, wow. She's allergic to all of that and she nearly died one time and that's how she found out about it. Jeez. Yeah. That's she's scary. Kind of like, I don't know if she can pat a goat. I don't think she'd be game to. But, yeah, she, we have a, a goat f- goat's cheese-free workplace. Oh, my gosh. And how random is that? that like, is how random. random of an allergy? Yeah. And so for our Christmas party, we're like, no fucking goat's cheese. I like, feel, you know, it's sprinkled on salads and shit. Gotta I feel be, I couldn't. Gotta be careful. I couldn't do that, though. I think I'd have to microdose goat's, goat's cheese just to get my tolerance up. Mm. Or I'd, I'd – because you know how you can, like, pay to do those – not courses, but the people help you no longer become allergic to it. Oh, yeah, you do like little dosing things. <gasps> Sorry, I've got the hiccups because I've eaten too much. Oh, the little doses of, I'd be micro dosing goat's cheese. Mm. But although, if you haven't had goat's cheese, you wouldn't know how good it is because it is good, isn't it? Yeah, it is good. It's quite nice. It, it's up there. But it is so ridiculously expensive that um, I don't get it very often. Mm. And why does it come in that oily jar? I hate that. And you can get it in a little log too, can't you? With mm. it like twisted on the ends. Don't know. It is really good. But anyway, when I got the barn meat, do you get your barn meats with or without pate? Oh, I've never had that option. Really? Yeah. Don't they all come with it? No. Well, it was just like a <laughs> thing. So I just ordered mine and then I was with Kate, friend of the show, and I ordered mine and the lady said with or without pate. Pate, and I said with. I don't fucking What's know. Just pate? Like that orangey thing. pink stuff? No, and then Kate said no pate, and then she goes, "You're gonna regret saying yes to that." And I was like, "What is it?" And it's like a liver, liver jam. Oh no, nah. jam made out of liver or something. Like, but it's a paste made out of liver. I don't know. Anyway, it was fucking delicious. So <laughs> I loved it. So isn't that weird? Can't can't eat a a piece of ceviche. Although I do love a caviar. Do you? I've never, I'd never had pay, that. I'd never pay for it, but oh no, it's gorgeous. You know what? In fact, let's go to the. Um, Does it taste just like fish eggs? No, no, it's it tastes like, oh my god, caviar is like, uh, well, you can get really salty caviar. I just picture it literally tasting, tasting like a fish egg. No, it's like a really nice buttery. Like the real good oh. ones are like, I don't know how to describe the flavor, but it's like a it's it's like just smearing some really lovely butter. On whatever you're having. Have you seen everyone's making butter these days with the KitchenAids? You're doing too much. Sit down. No, but like, do you know how easy it is to make butter? Probably, but why bother? Like, it's just milk. And then you just beat it until it turns into butter. Like, that's it. Yeah. And you put some salt on it. I ordered a, um, because as everyone knows, we're renovating our house. Fucking three weeks to go, apparently. I've ordered a butter dish for my bench. 
because I'm sick of like having spreadable butter in the fridge and you get it out and then you spread it on the bread rips. So I'm going to always have butter on my bench now. Oh, I only do the Western Star because that never happens with Western Star. See, I have Western Star too, but it's like rock hard. But which one? Orange? Red. No, that's where you're going wrong. Oh, see, no, I'm keeping it on the on the Need bench orange. in my new butter like ceramic dish. Okay. Yeah. Which I know is meant to be really hygienic, but fuck, it just freaks me out that it's sitting in water. Yeah. Like the just, butter bell. Yeah. Oh, I thought that's what it was. So no, it's not. No, I've just got like a dish with the lid on it, but you can get the butter bell as well. See, uh, what is a uh, thing's not going to get in there? I'd nah, be scared little creepy crawlies are getting in. Fuck it. We eat bugs all the time. Do ya? <laughs> Haven't you seen that TikTok that's going around right now where it's like, see this? It's a little insect. If I crush it all up and put it in water, it turns red. And then that's like the red dye that's in all of the red food, like nerds clusters. Oh, yeah, I did know that. So we eat crushed up bugs anyway. Yeah. And the gummy clusters are good. Aren't they in eyeshadows as well? Yeah. No, that's a different red. There's like two different kinds of reds. Okay. But the one in nerds and everything else, it's crushed up bugs. Allegedly. No, literally. Oh, okay. All right. Well, (laughs) now you've... Oh, you've changed my whole life with that. Now I've got to go home and... Make sure I'm not eating bugs. Because you know I love my diet, right? Oh, That's that would red. definitely have it in Oh, me. fucking hell. Well, you've ruined my Friday, so I'll see you next Tuesday.